Since Mississippi passed a law in 2006 allowing officers to stop and ticket drivers for not wearing a seatbelt, seatbelt usage has risen dramatically. The Social Science Research Center at Mississippi State University has been doing its part to investigate exactly what kind of impact this has created over the years. A team of surveyors and data analysts has been studying highway safety issues in the state of Mississippi since 1993. David Parrish, a senior research associate at the SSRC and principal investigator of motor vehicle occupant protection, has been leading the research on seatbelt and motorcycle helmet surveys. Parrish established the J.W. Landrum Observational Survey Laboratory in 2011 as the coordinated setting for studying vehicle seatbelt and motorcycle helmet use in the state. The lab has undertaken the project to restructure ongoing activities and facilitate future observational research. Our surveyors observe vehicles occupants from vantage points on randomly chosen public road segments. Their primary objective is to determine the seat belt or helmeted status of the motoring public. A team of 19 surveyors located throughout the state work to gather data. Our representative sample in Mississippi includes 173 sites in 16 counties. At these sites, our surveyors log their observations for a 45-minute period. Add up the counts from all the sites, and we usually capture somewhere in the range of 18 to 20,000 observations per completed survey. While collecting information, surveyors note the gender and race of drivers and passengers. Other distinctions include type of road, county, and type of vehicle. The research finds that women are much more likely to buckle up than men in any county. And with a rate of 9 out of every 10, white females are the most likely group to be using a seatbelt in Mississippi. SUV occupants showed the most seatbelt use with 85.4%, followed by car occupants at 83.9%, van occupants with 83.3%, and then pickup occupants trailing in last with only 76.5%. Drivers of pickups are the least likely group to be wearing a seatbelt. This is true not only for Mississippi, but throughout the nation and national initiatives have taken this into account when designing buckle up campaigns. Surveyors also take into account the number of motorcyclists wearing helmets. While less people across the U.S. are choosing to wear helmets, Mississippi has maintained a consistently high percentage of use. Collectively, Mississippi really does have a positive mentality about helmet use. During recent years' surveys, the helmet usage rate has been in the range of 97 to 99 percent of riders. For the second consecutive year, Mississippi has shown a belt use rate greater than 80%. This means four out of five Mississippi motorists are choosing to drive and ride safer by using seat belts. There is no doubt Mississippi has benefited tremendously from a primary seat belt law. Saving lives is the motivation. I credit the men and women in uniform that write the tickets and make the click it or ticket message significant to all the motorists. Changing human behavior is never an easy task, even when it's in the public's best interest. We'll keep doing our part at the SSRC to monitor the motoring public's response to this law. The evaluations we make today will help direct highway safety efforts in the future. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, funds the Occupant Protection Surveys through the Mississippi Governor's Office of Highway Safety.